Ramadan, as you all know, is a month due to the fact that we are fasting. It breaks kibber in the person and it makes a person humble. And when a person makes a mistake in the month of Ramadan, right away, his conscience begins to blame him. What the Quran calls the nafs al the reapproaching nafs, when your nafs say, hey, you shouldn't have done that thing. And this is one of the benefits of Ramadan. And we have to try to maintain that existence throughout our lives. We make mistakes and the nafs should say, hey, you shouldn't have done that. And then the person makes toba, And he makes reparations. And he uh, rectifies what he did to people. I find it quite strange in the beginning of Ramadan, going to the masjid and everyone is in this heightened state of taqwa. But then there are the people in the community who don't speak to you. And you don't speak to them. People who don't like you. And you don't like them. So you're trying to go to the masjid. And you're feeling good. I'm a Muslim. It's Ramadan. And then the reality of your condition. Smacks you right in the face. Because as you're walking to the masjid. While you're walking on the street. He is an individual who doesn't give you love. And you don't give him love. To allow this opportunity. To pass us by. Where we don't make islah. And we don't make peace. Is a big problem. If you can't do it in Ramadan, then it is very difficult to do it outside of the month of Ramadan. Because the nature of Ramadan, the spirit of Ramadan, is that the person's nafs is subdued. The shayateen are tied up, chained up, and they brought it down. So if he can't do it in Ramadan, when will he do it? I want to tell you about a hadith that happened with the Prophet Sallallahu an incident. One man owed another man money, and they started arguing. The one who owed the money was asking the man to have rahma upon him. Take it easy. Give me some time. Give me some respite. I'm going to give you your dough. Just take it easy. The other one was tough, and he didn't like it. He was tough. Someone told him, come on, Ahi, give him a break. He can't do it right now, so give him a break. And the man said, wallahi, wallahi. I will never do it. I will never give him a break. And he swore by Allah. I will never come down or give him some extended time. And the Prophet heard him when he said that. Swearing by Allah not to do ma'roof. So he said to the man, Sallallahu Who is it that has the nerve to swear by Allah that he won't do ma'roof? How many of us when we become upset and we get angry, we say things like, Wallahi, I will never visit her again, my auntie. Wallahi, I will never do this for him or for her. And we swear by Allah. Due to anger. Well, the month of Ramadan, one of the benefits behind it is being legislated and put upon us is to kill that kibber and to kill that anger. So for those of you, for those of us who have made these types of swears and these oaths wallahi i'm not going to do that and wallahi i'm going to do that where it is something that is not permissible for you to do that cut the tie of relationship to avoid someone who you don't have the right to avoid them then remember what the prophet said sallallahu alaihi wasallam who is it who is it that has the nerve to swear by allah that he won't do ma'ruf this is the month to do that make peace and make amends and remember, the Prophet warned us of the halak. He said, al hariqa al hariqa means the cutter, like a razor. He said, beware of the razor. He said, I'm not talking about the razor that cuts your hair on your head. He said, the razor that cuts your deen. And what did he say the razor was? He said, the razor was al fasad al bain The interpersonal relationships that we have with other people that have gone sour, when you don't make peace with Muslims, then your fasting, your prayer, your taraweeh, it goes up to Allah on Mondays and Thursdays, and Allah won't accept it from you. He'll tell the angels, Utruku hadaini hatta 
Leave this one and that one. Don't take his deeds up. All of his fasts, his zakat, his sadaqah, his taraweeh. Don't accept it until the two of them make peace. So if you're a person who's listening to me and you have drama and beef and static with another Muslim relative or not, and it's not religiously related, then know for surety that you may be fasting and your fast is suspended in animation until you make peace. Let us relax and calm ourselves and kill that nafs that has al-kibr and be of the people of the muhsineen. Inna Allah yuhibbul muhsineen. Allah loves those who are muhsineen. Al-ihsan, to worship Allah as though you see him and although you don't see him, he sees you. So I'm going to forgive this person and I'm going to overlook and apologize to this person seeking Allah's forgiveness. And I'm doing it only for Allah. May Allah make it easy for you, make it easy for us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Well, bye -bye. <laughs>